Honestly, I thought it wouldn't happen. Um, I was prepared for just another lost season. The puck stops here after a 16-week lockout. It looks like the NHL will soon drop the puck on a new, albeit shortened, season. News for us, Emily Guggenmiss is live for you in downtown Buffalo with all the details. Emily? Good morning. A new tentative deal between the NHL and the players is in place, and now some of those details are being made public. Early Sunday morning, Sabres defenseman Mike Weber tweeted this picture with the caption, fastest pack I ever completed. The players are ready to go, but what's in the new deal? The players' revenue share at the start of the deal will be over 50%. The players will have a defined pension plan for the first time. Free agent contracts will be limited to seven years, eight if resigning with their current team, and salaries within a contract may not vary by more than 35% year to year, and the lowest year must be at least 50% of the highest year. The deal is for 10 years, with either side being able to opt out of the deal after eight years. There are no changes for eligibility for free agency and salary arbitration, and the minimum salary for this year will be $525,000 and rise to $750,000 by the end of the 10-year deal. Each team may use two buyouts to terminate contracts before the 2013-2014 or 2014-2015 seasons for two-thirds of the remaining guaranteed income. The buyout will be included in the player's revenue share, but not the salary cap. And participation in the 2014 Olympic Games is not covered in this contract. That will have to be ironed out between the NHL Players Association, Olympic Committee, and the IIHF. So when can you expect to go to a game? Well, ESPN reported late last night that the NHL memo says that uh, it could potentially be on January 19th. That's the most likely date. But if the ratification process goes smoothly, we could see start date as early as January 15th. Reporting live, Emily Guggenmiss, News 4 Wake Up.